Welcome to Clinical Gyan. In today's video, we will be able to understand protocol used in clinical trials and know the contents of a protocol. A protocol is a legal document which outlines the study plan of the clinical trial in a detailed yet comprehensive and concise manner. Definition As per ICHGCP, a clinical trial protocol is defined as a document that describes the objective, design, methodology, statistical considerations, and organization of a clinical trial. In general, it is a detailed document that describes all aspects of a clinical trial. It has a study plan on which the clinical trial is based. It mentions about what type of people may participate in the trial. Mentions about the schedule of the tests involved. The different procedures which will be followed throughout the trial. Medications, allowed medications as well as prohibited medications, dosages, and length of the study. Protocol development. Protocol development requires cross-functional and collaborative teamwork. The members involved in protocol development are Principal Investigator Biostatistician Medical Monitor Research Scientist Clinical Research Associate and Medical Writers Elements of a Protocol a protocol should include the following topics, but not limited to background information, study rationale, study objectives, study design, subject selection, study treatments, study procedures, adverse experience reporting, discontinuation of subjects, protocol violations, statistical considerations, data collection and monitoring, ethical and regulatory considerations. The first page of a protocol is usually a title page. The title page includes information such as protocol number, version date, investigational product, IND number, which is an investigational new drug application number, development phase, which includes description about the phase one or phase two, three, four, and so on. Details of the sponsor, funding organization, principal investigator details, and medical monitor details. Let's have a brief description about what goes in the background information. We need to identify the product to be studied and describe it briefly. We need to define the chemical composition of the investigational product. Mention the disease or condition for which the investigational drug product is being evaluated. Provide a brief summary of the non-clinical or animal study data that has clinical significance and also provide a brief summary of the clinical data available that are relevant to the study. Study rationale. This section describes why it makes sense to study this, this product in a particular patient population. It involves risk benefit assessment. It describes how the specific risk of the product will be mitigated in the study and why the potential benefit outweighs the risk. It is to describe why the investigational drug will be safe and effective for the clinical indication intended. Study Objectives Primary Objective the primary objective of a trial is to address the specific aim and objective by collecting appropriate data. For example, 
lowering the blood glucose level by 20 units with proposed clinical evaluation of the investigational drug. Primary efficacy endpoints. Efficacy endpoint outcomes help in determining the primary objective of the trial. The primary endpoint of a clinical trial is the endpoint for which subjects are randomized and for which the trial is powered. Secondary objectives. Additional or desirable research related outcome could be a secondary objective. For example, progression free survival in cancer patients or improved quality of life secondary efficacy endpoints. These are the outcomes for determining the secondary objectives. Additional events of interest for which the trial may not be powered nor randomized. Study design. This section includes a description of the type or design of a trial to be conducted. Trial could be double-blinded, placebo-controlled, or parallel design. A schematic diagram of trial design, procedures, and stages involved are described in this section. A description of the method to avoid bias such as randomization and blinding is followed. The expected duration of subject participation, sequence, and duration of all trial period, including the follow-up is mentioned. A complete treatment regimen will be described in this section. Subject selection. Subjects diagnosed with intended indication who meet the inclusion and exclusion criteria will be eligible for participation in this study. Inclusion criteria. Inclusion criteria are the parameters that prospective subject must have if they are to be included in the study. For example, study subjects must meet age and gender criteria as per the study requirement. Exclusion criteria. Exclusion criteria are those parameters that disqualify prospective subject from inclusion in the study. For example, study subjects must not have a medical history of sensitivity, intolerance, or toxicity to the investigational product or similar agents. Other sections of protocol will be covered in subsequent video. Please keep watching. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. For queries and suggestions, please mail us at clinicalgan at gmail.com. Thank you.